Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. It is Wild Rose here and I thought I would do a nighttime episode for you today just to change things up. I really like the 8pm music so I figured that I would do a little bit of an episode during this time of the day. So let's see what there is to do today. Oh, there's a lost pouch here. I haven't checked any of the shops yet or had a walk through around my island, so I guess we're going to do that as we go along today. I believe there is only two more days or perhaps three more days until the snow goes for good. <laughs> So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, I know in one of my previous episodes I did time travel, uh, but I had to just put it back to the normal time and date because <laughs> I just feel so guilty. Oh, Rhonda's having a seat. And Tammy's having a seat as well. Okay, let's not ask it. Why is everyone sat down? What's everyone looking at? Oh, hey Wild Rose, how have you been? I haven't seen you around. Have you been avoiding me? No. I literally don't talk to any of my villagers these days because I'm just too busy sorting things out. What's up, Wild, wild, wild Rose? <laughs> I can't even talk myself. Wait a sec, while I stand myself up. Ah! Oh, cute. Can you start over? Can you drop this? Why don't you show me what you've got there and we'll see. Is this yours, Bloodmere? Hmm, that's not mine. If I'd had to guess, I'd say it belongs to someone like Kit. <laughs> Thank you, Dakes. Thanks, my lad. Let's go and... <laughs> Tammy is putting on a show for everyone. Lovely. I would watch, but you are a very scary monkey, so I'll leave you to it. I can't even remember where Kit lives. I believe she lives on the other side. So let us run around and see. As you can see actually, um, I'm not sure if I showed you yet, um, so we lost Bob, um, well we didn't lose him, but we swapped him for Vladimir, and of course I didn't realise that Vladimir's house is pink, um, so it's literally like bright pink with a yellow door which does not go with the shop, so the reason why I moved Bob here in the first place was to match the shop. So potentially Vladimir's going to have to move, um, or I'll get rid of him at some point. Um, I kind of liked him on the day that I um, got him and then now he's just kind of creepy so <laughs> we'll see how long it takes me to get rid of him. Ooh. I'm going to buy that stereo. High end stereo please. High five stereo. At what? Oh. 82,000? I thought they were like 8,000. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Wow, that's ridiculous. It, honestly, I withdrew so much money from my Rebels bank account, whatever you want to call it. I just don't want to withdraw any more money. Like, I literally just want to try and grow my wealth again. But you know what it's like when you restart your island and you've got to put all the bridges in, you've got to do your house over... Oh, chips there. Okay, we might do a little bit of fishing later on then, perhaps. Alright, I'm sure Kit's house is around here somewhere. Still getting used to the layout of my island. Oh my goodness. Oh, there she is. Hello. So happy to see you, child. Maybe. What is it? You found my lost bag. Thank you for going out of your way to bring it back to me. I want to give you a little something in return. <laughs> what could it be? An athletic jacket. That's not too bad to be fair. The villagers usually give you really terrible clothing items. Let's have a look. Blue. We always get blue. That's fine. I have a random tree in here, so we'll just wipe it out there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you changed into an athletic outfit just as I did. Alright, okay, so let's go to the tailors. We notice how I've put all of my pear trees over here, so I'm kind of in the process of 
um, putting all of my fruit trees like in designated areas just so it makes the island look a bit neater. Um, I do like to completely focus on having like cedar trees and saplings around the main run around part of my island but I do want to have little segments where I have fruit so just so that it looks kind of nice and put together I'm gonna like group them all together so as you can see this is kind of like the apple area so I might add a few more apple trees around here Hi, Hi good evening Snoot I don't know if it's so invigorating staying inside all day will be a terrible waste no tell me about it I am inside most of the time working from home all day and then playing animal crossings in the evening Okay, so we've got a few aprons, we have a multi-purpose vest, tweed jacket, pleather skirt, foggy costume, I've got those hats, okay, so I might, I've got these denim ones, so I might just collect these two wearable ones, we need some tortoise glasses, what are they even called, round tinted, I always call them tortoise glasses, um, I might go for these socks and pretty sure I've got all these trainers already. I think I'll get some slip on loafers. I'm not sure if I've got these loafers as well, but I'll just have to check in my storage. Okay, I think I'm going to just quickly change my outfit. feeling inspired by the black hat so I think I'm going to put that on okay so how many dresses okay we've got this hat hat we've got this dress but it's a little cold for that okay let's put the hat on first and then see what we can do might have to be trousers Cute. Still waiting to collect the like thin kind of skinny trousers in like all of the denim shades. Might wear Wellington boots, I think. Don't have any black bags yet, which is exceptionally annoying. Okay, so let's go and collect a few shells and have a look for the message in a bottle. Haven't collected shells and sold any yet. Not really priority work, but we'll do that today. Oh, let's go and look in Chadda's home. I don't actually believe I've been in there yet. <laughs> Chadda is crafting. Buongiorno, Wild Rose. I've been brushing up on my Spanish since we last met up. <laughs> oh, Wild Rose. Sorry, I was just doing a little DIY. I was in the zone, you know. What you crafting? Glad you asked. I'm just making a wooden double bed. Mm, I'm not sure if I've got that yet, so that's going to be helpful. The recipe came to me in a dream. Do you want to hear more about it? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to hear about your dream, but I hear about the double bed. <laughs> oh, I've already forgotten about my dream. But I have a recipe written down here. You can have it. Thank you. Let's give it a try. And if I can make it, anyone can. Let's turn on everything that I believe. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Wooden double bed is learnt. Ooh, and here is a storing fish. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh, it's right in front of you. Come on. Seriously? Wow. Oh, 
sometimes I get bored with these big fish. Whee! I caught a sturgeon. I wonder if it can perform sturgery. Oh, here's the master in the So I was strolling along the beach listening to the waves roll in when suddenly I had this rad DIY idea. Then I had a crazy idea for sharing that recipe and here we are. I promise it might not explode. Taking cover plucky. Jokes. Birdcage. Yay! I haven't learnt the birdcage yet. Thanks, Pluckster. Remember my sister had Plucky in her island for absolute years and years and years. A very sarcastic character. I don't really like the chicken characters to be honest. I don't think there's one chicken that actually is nice. Let's run up here and then I've just noticed that there are two snowballs nearby. So I'm going to try and make one of the very last perfect snow boys and not very good, I have to warn you. It's actually so hard to make a perfect snow boy. But soon it's going to be too late and I'm not going to be able to collect all of the icy recipes again. I've got them all in my old island. But I haven't prioritised it this time around because I was busy doing lots of other things. with one if I can't find the other one. Oh, here it is. Okay. Do have to be careful not to kick them in trees. A little damsel fly following me around. Pretty sure I've caught one of them now, so I'm not gonna bother. Hopefully this is far enough now, and as soon as I get up to the top, it should be fine. Moment of truth. You're looking at pure snowfo broke perfection right here. But you know that he made me. I'm the real deal thanks to you, bud. I'm perfect in every way that involves round of snow. And you, you know how to build a snow person. Even I can't play it cool here. I'm practically melting with appreciation for you and your snow skills. I think it's only appropriate that I share a DIY recipe with such a gifted snow crafter. Let's see. I know, I'll show you how to make a frozen arch. Thank you. <laughs> Check out your next one. And take a large snowflake too. It's required to craft the item. And put your thank you gift among your belongings. Now go on and craft an item that will remind you of me. But I'm so excited on how cool you made me. <laughs> They're so sarcastic when you get them wrong though. <laughs> it's jokes how long are these croissant uh, beans? Um, these hyacinths are taking so long to grow because I time travelled when I planted them. And they've literally been buds for so long. But this is my museum area. Um, it's kind of cute and tucked away. 
um, but I kind of like it this time. Um, I did mention in my last video when I was decorating this area that I want it to be a lot smaller and compact this time round. That's there for later. <laughs> Um, just because I used too many ink lines last time to make it very grand looking and as much as that was great um, when I needed other staircases for different things I had to keep demolishing things around the museum which was annoying so that's the reason why I've made it smaller and this is my new area for my little birds Phoebe and Blanche I'm just going to say hello to Blanche now This is exactly why I wanted them to live together. Look at them! Oh, this makes me so happy. Okay, Blanche, if you could just, um, excuse me, can you just uh, turn round? Blanche! <laughs> Blanche really isn't going to move. Oh my god, what is wrong with that bird? I'm so pleased you dropped by. Another friend is here today too, quite so. Relax and make yourselves at home, quite so. The more the merrier. To a point, of course. <laughs> Lols. Of course you wouldn't be Blanche if you had to add some sarcastic rudeness at the end of your sentence. Well, well, Blanche and I were just talking about you and now you're here. Ooh, I've been wondering what Blanche's place is like. Such style. I got up my game. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy they're hanging out together. That's exactly what I wanted when I put them together up here. Have fun, ladies. Okay, we'll leave that tea party. <laughs> As you can see, it's still got like a lot of weeds and messy areas, but we're getting there slowly but surely. I feel like there's no rush because I've not got a lot of recipes still, so... I'm just going to take my time and adapt as and when I learn new things. Let's check the nook mile situation. relationship with I wonder who that is then good relationships for a cornerstone of the island oh, okay so it's either Blanche or Phoebe then I presume it's Blanche cute love it okay hmm. I think I might how much uh, resources have I got oh, I was gonna go to and look my island but I seem to have enough wood and things on me change the wallpaper and the carpet in my house I tend to do this on a, probably a daily basis just because I get quite bored quite quickly of the way that the walls look okay once again though I'm still not doing anything with the house just yet once I've got a lot more in my catalogue, then I'll start working on that, I think. I'm not sure if I've caught a moth yet or not. Yes, I have already got one. Still singing for everybody. <laughs> well, hello, Bigfoot. I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime, Bigfoot. Thanks, Wanda, but I won't really class you as a friend. <laughs> Let's go on the opposite side of the island. 
see if there's anything exciting there. I really could do catching a mole cricket. They sleep way too quickly. I got it! Yay! I caught a mole cricket. I really dug it. <laughs> ha ha ha. I wish the puns were a little bit more funny in this one. I feel like they're a little bit dry. It could just be me, but I'm pretty sure that the um, puns, especially in New Leaf, were actually really funny. <laughs> just think they're a little bit, a bit tired. Maybe some, somebody could be really bothered to think of really funny ones. <laughs> or they didn't get someone with a sense of humor to come up with the ideas. Ooh, what fish could that be? Oh no, it's not a big one. I'm not sure if I've actually caught 50 fish yet. Um, I'm hoping to find an ore fish or a coelacanth at some point. But I think for the big ones, you've got to catch 50 fish all together. And then you start to unlock the more rarer ones. We've got a little bit of fishing to do. There's another fossil. Okay, I think what I will do is I'm going to move a house and let's just get rid of this furniture. You know those three pieces of furniture that you have to place down at the beginning of the game? <laughs> it's always a good idea when you first start and then as you progress you just think, wow, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's scoot over. Here's another one. Okay, so yeah, I mentioned in a previous video that I want to make like a town district over here and I want to have like the houses kind of jaggedy but even at least four houses up here and then like an open like plaza space so let's just check the map so we have oh i haven't seen dom in ages i'll keep forgetting him because he's down by the beach uh okay so we've got Rhonda up there and i think it's bubbles okay so maybe we'll move Tammy, just because she's kind of out the way. I mean, I don't really care because I don't really like her that much, but I'm going to the wrong place. We need to go to resident services. <laughs> she's still going strong. Okay, so we've got Tammy's moving kit now. So let's see if we can place it in the right place. Again, I'm not too picky um, of exactly where I want things on this island just yet because as we all know from playing Animal Crossing for a while now that indecisiveness is like one of the biggest things when you are playing with your island. So um, I'm gonna place it here. I kind of want like a even space in between all three of those houses. Oh, the only irritating thing is that it's really difficult to guess and hope that you get them even. But yeah, I'm not too worried because I can move them around. 
but at the same time it would be nice to get them even and kind of keep it like this. I can only hope that that's in the right place. I'm not spending another 50,000 to move it one square. Oh. Does that look like it's even? Wow, if it is, that's actually amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah, so what I wanna do is, I wanna kind of do like a nice side kind of garden and front bit for bubbles. Um, I'm gonna obviously use the same colors as her door. Um, I might do like some creams and then her red. And then I'm going to do some purples for Rhonda's house and I'm gonna give Rhonda a nice front garden. So I'm probably gonna do like shared access so that when you walk through, you can like walk into Rhonda's area, but then you can like walk into Bubbles's as well. So I'm gonna kind of do it like that. And then I'm gonna close off, not close off, but kind of like have it like blatantly separate. And then Tammy's area will then go over here, I think. So obviously I'm gonna get rid of this rock and then have Tammy's area going over here. And then I think I'll then kind of just have like a really nice large like plaza area with fountains and I'm gonna make this area a little bit more neater. Um, obviously I do like the kind of cottage core, forest core kind of theme um, with like trees everywhere, mountains, rivers, um, waterfalls, but in this section, I'm gonna specifically target the kind of like um, town effect. Um, potentially, I might change this bridge to a brick bridge as well, um, but I had never had any of these bridges in my old island, so I kind of like this style of wooden bridge. Um, and yeah, once it turns to spring, it's gonna to start to look really lovely. So um, that is the plan for this area, and we'll see how that goes. I do believe there's a balloon over here somewhere. That was very far away. There we go. A tool cart? What's one of those? Oh wow, okay. So fortunate today. Right, I think what I'll do is I will just clear this area and that will kind of motivate me to make this my next project so probably in the next two episodes you'll be able to watch me design this area doing good so far without being stung by any bees <laughs> okay that's it so Normally what I'll do is when I'm like moving trees around, I normally dig them, like so I'll eat fruit and then have the trees in my inventory. Um, just because I don't like to waste trees and I think that it just saves me having to wait five days or time travel five days just to grow trees again. Um, but in this occasion, I do have a lot of trees um, and I have a lot of areas as well that are untouched. So I now have got plenty of fresh trees too repot over here when the time is right. I think I'm going to definitely do um, saplings over here so that when it is cherry blossom season I have a nice big plaza or plaza area that I've designed that I can then decorate with cherry blossom items. Um, I wasn't really fussed about cherry blossom season last year because I kind of didn't really like immerse myself in the game so I was still like properly I, well I was immersed definitely I was playing it for hours a day um because I was actually on maternity leave then so obviously I was at home with a very small baby um, and while he slept for most of the time I just played Animal Crossing literally in between looking after him which was absolute bliss plus lockdown as well I mean what else was I gonna do <laughs> um but yeah I didn't really take the seasons that seriously last time but this time I am more than motivated to focus on cherry blossom season because it is one of the most beautiful seasons of the game um, I thought I did like fall the best um, but I think spring is probably my favourite now um, I love the fact that it rains a lot in spring as well
Okay, so I believe there's no more trees. So I think I'm going to eat the apple and smush that rock as well. It's always the money ones, why? Gosh. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like we have now clear space and a nice clean area to get started on. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So yeah, I feel like that is all for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I've not really done much to be fair um, on this episode, but I mean, it's just a nice, gentle, relaxing chill with me in the evening time really. Um, so I hope you will stick around and subscribe to my channel um, to watch plenty of Let's Plays and Build With Me's as well. Um, and I'm also gonna start doing some no commentary videos as well because I really like just listening to games without people talking over the top as well so i'm going to be doing a few of those episodes myself so thank you so much for watching have a lovely evening or day wherever you are in the world and i'll see you on my next video bye